A Guide to Self-Injection From Pharmasure This DVD is designed to show you how to prepare and give yourself subcutaneous injections of Fostimon, that is, injections beneath the skin. We recommend that you watch this DVD all the way through before you attempt to prepare or give your first injection. Before you start treatment, check that you have the correct items to give your injection. These may have been provided by your clinic or in a self-injection kit provided by Pharmasure. Before you prepare the first injection, wash your hands and ensure that you have a clean work surface on which to place all the items you need. One ampoule snapper, one two mil syringe, one long green drawing up needle, one short yellow injection needle, one yellow plastic sharps bin and top. At this point, secure the top on the empty sharps bin like this, ensuring that the top snaps into place. Do not close the lid of the sharps bin. The packaging of the needles and syringes should be undamaged so that the sterile seal is unbroken. Do not use any syringes or needles if the seal has already been broken, but dispose of them in the sharps bin. Inside each small box of Fostimon, you will find one vial of white powder and one ampoule of solvent, a clear liquid, together with a patient information leaflet. Check the expiry date on the pack and do not use the product if it has expired. Please note that Fostimon comes in vials of both 75 international units and 150 international units, or IU. You can dissolve up to six vials of Fostimon in one ampoule of solvent. Drawing up the solvent. Place the correct number of vials and solvent for your first injection on the prepared surface. Remove the protective plastic cap from each vial that you are going to use for this injection. In this case, we are using two vials. Take the solvent ampoule containing the clear liquid and lightly flick the top section so that any liquid drops down to the bottom of the ampoule. It is now ready to open. Holding the solvent ampoule in one hand, with the colored dot facing away from you, push the end of the ampoule snapper with the narrow opening firmly over the top of the ampoule until it clicks over the narrowest part of the ampoule neck. Then snap off the head of the ampoule by breaking it away from you. Dispose of the broken end and the ampoule snapper in the sharps bin now, break the seal of the packaging for the drawing up needle and the yellow injection needle so that they are easy to remove. Remove the syringe from its pack and firmly attach the green drawing up needle to the syringe, leaving the needle's protective cover in place. Now, holding the green needle collar in place on the syringe, carefully remove the needle cover. With the syringe in one hand and the open solvent in the other, tilt the solvent ampoule and place the needle into the solvent until the tip of the needle is at the bottom edge of the ampoule. Slowly pull back the plunger to draw up all the liquid into the syringe, making sure the tip of the needle remains below the surface of the liquid. Dispose of the empty solvent ampoule in the sharps bin. Reconstitution. Holding the Fostimon vial securely, push the needle through the rubber membrane in the top of the vial and slowly inject the solvent to avoid foaming or frothing. The white powder dissolves immediately. Do not shake the vial. Now, 
tilt the vial so the needle is at the very bottom and slowly draw up all the liquid into the syringe as you did with the solvent ampoule. If you have been prescribed more than one vial of medication per injection, then inject the solution already in the syringe into the next vial and so on until the required number of vials have been dissolved in solvent. Up to six vials of Fostimon can be dissolved in one ampoule of solvent. When the contents of the correct number of vials have been drawn up into the syringe, pointing the needle upwards, draw back the plunger slightly to ensure no liquid is left in the needle. Detach the green needle from the syringe and dispose of it in the sharps bin. Pointing the syringe upwards, now gently expel the large airspace from the syringe. Remove the yellow injection needle from its pack with the protective needle cover still in place and firmly attach it to the syringe. Holding the yellow collar in place, remove the protective needle cover and inspect the syringe for any remaining air spaces or bubbles. Keeping the needle pointing upwards, very gently and slowly push the plunger of the syringe until any air space and bubbles have been expelled and a tiny droplet of liquid appears at the end of the needle. At this point there should be no air in the syringe. You are now ready to give the injection, which must be done immediately. Your specialist or nurse may have advised you on a suitable site for injection. Good areas to perform a subcutaneous injection are the tummy or the front of the thigh. At your chosen site of injection, pinch the skin together firmly and insert the needle at an angle of between 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Injecting under the skin, taking as much time as needed to inject all the liquid. Do not inject into a vein. Withdraw the needle. You have now successfully given your first injection. Dispose of the used syringe, needles and any remaining empty ampules or vials in the sharps bin. Do not close the lid of the sharps bin until you have completed your whole course of treatment at which time you should dispose of the sharps bin as you have been advised by your clinic. Please ensure that you store the sharps bin safely out of the reach of children.